right guys, so earlier I spoke to you about the PCs and how to do all of the roles, so now I'm going to move on to the NPCs. Um, so this is where we left off. So the NPCs works pretty much exactly the same as the PCs do. So let's get a map up. Let's get battle map one. This is just the free maps you get with Fantasy Ground Unity. Um, and then let's get the encounter up, and this is the encounters from the sample place. I pre-placed them for this. Ooh, don't accidentally press the help button. Um, so let's place them in. In fact, I'm going to bring this up to the top window because I want you to see that it's pretty fast at adding them. So adds all to the combat tracker and it's added all to roll for initiative as well. So yeah, you'll see here that if you hover over just like with them you can get their names. Something that I'm going to do in a future update soon is I'll probably change the UI slightly so their names come up somewhere. I haven't decided on how to display it yet just because there's three wolves and it can be quite annoying to have to hover on if you want to do something particular with one of the NPCs. I found this is really good for when an NPC is controlled by the players. Um, in my current campaign, Descent into Avernus, there's Slobberchops, who's the cat, and he has become pretty friendly with them. Um, and so when he goes into a new battle, I always roll his initiative using this. It can be quite awkward to roll initiative through the NPC character sheets. But also, maybe you don't like, maybe you accidentally left the grouped on, or you don't quite like the initiative order, or for some reason you decide that something's happened and you want to change it, you can, as before, select all the NPCs get the initiative, request the wall. You're going to have to do this as the DM because you can get all the NPCs. Let's go for all of those. And it's rolled initiative for all of them. And again, just like before, if you request, you'll see it's gone red. So maybe you close out for some reason and you forget about doing a roll and then you're like, ah, oh, why is that there? This is a new button I've added. Before you'd have to request a new roll to get the list of rolls if you accidentally closed it. Now you can just click that, gets you all of those. I talked about this in a previous video, but now, before, if I had rolled one of these, that icon would turn green, um, even though there's still other rolls left. So, whereas now, uh, it won't turn green until everything's gone. Maybe you've made a mistake, so you can click X. Now there's no more rolls left for that particular person, so it's gone green for that token for that zombie. So let's get them all visible, because why not? And then for effect, let's put some of these on. Do, 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 do. Oh, didn't mean that. So the other thing that I've added is that you can do the skill checks for the NPCs. This is mainly useful for stealth, but maybe others it might be useful for other stuff. Um, especially like maybe you want to roll stealth for six or seven go goblins, like in the first bit of the Lost Minds of Fandelva. Um, it's pretty annoying to have to go through into each character sheet and roll stealth. And whereas for this, you can just do it, select all, roll stealth. Now you'll see here that there is a manual. There's like a bit of a UI bug there. Uh, manual perception plus four. So what I've done is in my passes that, and it will use that plus four instead of its underlying stat. So let's get the wyvern, get rid of that. All the perception check. Don't really need them up for now. Comes up. All the perception check you can see it's added the plus four. Now if it doesn't have anything specifically set it will use the underlying modifier. So let's do an athletics check, he's got a plus four strength. So if you request athletics, off he goes, plus four. Ten. And just like all of the rest you can use any of these including initiative, including dice, saves, checks to do anything you want and add the modifiers on there as well. It should 
automatically update the names if you change the names in here. So let's call the Lyran name change hover over. There it is. And the same with the tokens. So let's grab tokens. Animal tokens. This Wyvern for some reason has suddenly changed into a bear. And there you go. Changed into a bear on that screen. So it really does take the information off of there. I guess whilst we're on the skills thing, it's worth noting that it is linked to the record of the combat tracker. So you have to change the record on the combat tracker, not the generic. So if I went to NPCs, found a wyvern and changed the skills, it would not update on here. I'd have unless I dragged in the new wyvern into it. You have to update it on the specific wyvern you've got in the combat tracker, like so. Okay, 